when that light bulb goes off with clients, they show up to work with a total different energy and mindset. Why do we have to experience pain to find growth? So let me clarify. There's actually pain or suffering and joy are the two things that can create growth and transformation. Why? Because they're only things strong enough to get your ego out of the way, to literally punch that judge and those saboteurs back where you say, this isn't working for me. I can't do it. Because the ego and that limbic system is so strong, that's what you need. Get it out of the way. And me as an endurance athlete, athlete and you know these stories when your brain quits your body still has way more so yeah great suffering and great joy can be the touchstone of all growth to get you to that next level because it's not happening to you it's happening for you we are creatures of habit and the brain likes to do that because it likes to put things on automatic pilot so it doesn't have to think about it that's energy. If this is not giving you the result you want it. What are you going to do about it? If that's not what you want, what do you want? Now, this is a very important point. Often your judge and saboteur will answer what you want, but it's not what your sage wants. Your saboteurs are just looking to survive. Surviving is not thriving. It shows up as a voice in your head, just like you have a voice of you want to do something larger and better. That, that whole notion of it's good enough or it's not that bad. Like, ah, it's not that bad. Ah, it's good enough, but it's not really the place that I want to get to. Where you really really want to get to. Life has happened to us. And if we stay and survive, it just builds up all these layers. And we don't even know what we really want anymore. This is what I talk about on an ontological level, where it's not just something that was fanciful, like it has permeated every fabric of your being. It's not what you do, it's just who you are. And some people go that way in the negative, i.e. drugs, alcohol, etc. You can go that way with being whole, productive, positive, holy, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. And you start tapping in into a greater calling. We are all called to bring something unique. But if you're listening to your survive mind and all the other crap that's out there, you'll do what Thoreau says of most men go to the grave with quiet desperation, with the song still in their heart. That's what people need to get. And when that light bulb goes off with clients, they show up to work with a total different energy and mindset and way of being.